I'm sure by now, if you're on social media a lot, especially on platforms like this, YouTube, or you're on TikTok, you're on Instagram, you have heard of doctors or dermatologists time and time again telling you, please wear sunscreen, please wear sunscreen. Now, why is sunscreen that important? Now, in this video, we're not gonna be talking about sunscreen, but instead, we'll be talking about the five negative effects of UV rays on your skin. Now, we realize that majority of our viewers in our videos are not subscribers. So if you do not mind just smashing the subscribe button, it helps YouTube algorithm push more evidence-based educational videos like these to more people like you. Hey, great day ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor and welcome to Skin Fix, the platform whereby we educate you everything regarding skin and then back it up with scientific studies. Now in today's video, we'll be talking about five negative effects of UV rays on your skin. Now, time and time again, you hear that, hey, you need to wear sunscreen. Why is sunscreen important? Because it protects against your, your skin against UV radiation. Now, let's talk about UV radiation in general. Um, let's talk about how many types there are. So at least we know, once we break down the types of UV radiation, then we understand as the video goes along, when we're talking about the different types, you kind of have a rough idea. Now, first up, UV radiation is actually a spectrum of light, whereby uh, it's a form of light that we can't see with our eyes. You know, humans can't see the UV ray spectrum. Now, these UV rays that we're talking about generally comes from the sun and they are broken down into three different types. There's UVA, UVB, and UVC. Now, in this video, we are not going to be talking about UVC because UVC is, doesn't actually reach Earth. Unless you're an astronaut, then you'll be exposed to UVC. But UVC is actually filtered by the ozone layer around the Earth. So, it means that what, get, what, what approaches us or what hits us is just the UVA and UVB. Now, UVA is a longer wavelength, means that it penetrates deeper into our skin, so it hits the middle part of the skin, which is the dermis, which is the dermis part, and then there's UVB, you know, which is shorter wavelength, hits the top layer of our skin. Now, now that we have that out of the way, it makes, makes life a little bit easier for me to explain to you um, the, the negative effects of UV rays on your skin. Now, the number one major negative effect that you might see even as a child of Prolonged exposure to the sun or UV rays is sunburn. So why, why this happens? Because UVB actually cooks the top layer of your skin. And when this happens, it will trigger a form of cytokine release, which will then force your skin to deslough or to exfoliate itself. Now, the reason why is this is actually a protective mechanism for your skin. Now, sunburn is actually something good for your skin. Now, it does not look pleasant cosmetically because you know you actually get darker but it actually protects your skin against something even more dangerous which is skin cancer so what happens is this when UV, UV rays hit your skin your skin will try to protect itself and it will actually release certain uh, neuroactive uh, chemicals and at the same time as certain cyto cytokines to kill off the top layer of the skin and when that happens then the top layer of your skin is now dead and now the top layer would then exfoliate. Hence, that's why post sunburn, usually you get skin peeling like seven to 14 days after your sunburn is gone, all right? So the reason why is when you exfoliate the top layer of your skin, you actually minimize the risk of skin cancers because UV rays do actually um, cause a high incidence rate of skin cancer. So one, the first negative effect is UV rays actually cause sunburn. Now, now, moving on, now we're going to the second part whereby the second negative effect is UV rays causes skin cancer. Now, there are studies which shows short-term, large exposure of UV rays, it doesn't matter whether it's UVA or UVB, will increase your risk of skin melanomas. Now, skin melanomas are a very aggressive form of cancer and you can actually die from melanomas. However, if you're exposed less than 25 years, but you're exposed in very high doses, then your risk of melanoma actually increases. But your, if you have a chronic exposure, low dose chronic exposure for many years, more than 25 years, your risk of melanoma is actually quite low. But instead, your risk of basal cell carcinomas and squamous cell carcinomas, which are the other forms of, of skin cancers, are much higher. Now, BCC or basal cell carcinoma and SCC, which is squamous cell carcinoma, 
is actually easily treatable just by a bit of you know, um, skin resection, you remove the, the skin cancer and it doesn't actually come back. Now, how does it cause cancer? cancer? UV radiation is absorbed by something called cis urocanic acid. Now, cis urocanic acid now then releases uh, something called the ROS, which is the re reactive oxygenated species, or in other, in short term, is prooxidants. That prooxidants then would damage your DNA cells. When you, your DNA, DNA cells are damaged, it actually damages something called apoptosis. Now, what is apoptosis? It's called programmed cell death. Now, very simple. Every cell in our body has its own limited lifespan, all right? Now, this limited lifespan is important. It's programmed into the DNA. So your skin cells only last a number of days, your blood cells last a number of days, and your heart cells last a different kind of, of duration. But all your skin cells, or sorry, all your cells have apoptosis. Now, apoptosis is important because once the cell has been programmed to die, your cell must die. And if it does not die, which in this case, due to exposure of UV radiation, when it doesn't die, it becomes a cancerous cell. So a cancer cell is basically a cell that just forgot to die. Now, this is totally out of the video, all right? How many of you believe that sunscreen protects your skin against skin cancer? And how many of you actually believe that sunscreen causes skin cancer? Let me know in the comments below. Now, the third negative effect of UV rays or prolonged chronic UV rays on your skin is premature aging and wrinkles. So earlier we did mention that UV radiation will release prooxidants, uh, ROS, and all these prooxidants will then damage your DNA. So the, the, then um, part of the DNA which is damaged is your telomere, which tells you or which gives your cell that time duration. So a shorter time duration means that your wrinkles appear at a much quicker rate. So it means that when you're exposed to high UV rays, you're gonna get premature aging. You know, you're gonna get stuff like hyperpigmentation appearing, um, your skin starts to age much quicker, starts to dry up much, much quicker, and at the same time, wrinkles start to appear at a much younger age. Number four, prolonged UV ray exposure will actually reduce your immune system. So prolonged UV ray exposure actually produces immunosuppressive antigens, which will then suppress your immune system, causing you to have a higher chance of skin diseases, especially higher rate of skin cancers. So do be careful of chronic prolonged exposure to UV rays because it reduces your immune system, especially to um, skin diseases, especially skin cancer. Now, number five, now with this is, we're gonna debate a little bit, it's not really skin, all right, but something still on your face, which is cataract. So what is cataract? Cataract is actually a disorder of the eye, whereby it affects the lens of your eye, making it blur. And as we get older, the world around us actually gets blurrier and blurrier due to the fact that light is unable to pass through the lens into the back of your eyes, which is the optic nerve, and then you know, sends the signal to your brain. Now, your cornea, which is the outer layer of your eye or, or the lens, um, it just acts like your skin. You know, it reproduces itself regularly it, uh, because of the damage or sun exposure. But over time, the repair actually reduces. And when that happens, then now um, the lens actually gets a little bit blurred. Now, cataract is a major problem all around the world, especially in countries which have very high rates of um, sun exposure, especially in a place like Southeast Asia, in Malaysia, we have very high incidence of cataract. Now, the one thing that we cannot avoid is everyone in this particular area will get cataract at one point in their life. Now, the good news is cataract is actually reversible or there are actually operations for cataract and you can actually protect yourself by wearing proper sunshade with um, those type of um, filter lenses. But do be careful because you ex prolonged exposure to UV radiation actually causes cataract. All right, guys, there we have it. Five negative effects of UV rays on your skin. I would say probably four plus one, right? Four for skin, one for eye. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this sort of video or this particular format of video whereby we do deep dives into, um, into skin problems backed up by science and we make it a little bit easier for everyone to understand, all right? We, 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 we take those medical jargons and we actually shorten it up. Let me know in the comments below what you guys like and what you dislike about, about this kind of video. Do not forget to turn on the bell button and do not forget to click the subscribe button. Now that's it for me, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor. And always remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay informed. Are you tired of wasting time and money on your skin, but nothing works? We are here to help.
SkinFix is a platform that provides personal care education completely free. SkinFix is run by skin doctors and skincare experts. You can chat and consult with our skin doctors without ever leaving your home. Other than free advice, SkinFix also provides tailor-made solutions for your skin problem with customized medical-grade skincare delivered right to your doorstep. SkinFix, your digital skin doctor.